Hey guys and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to implement another of ARCore 1.2's new features, which is augmented images. Now, as fancy as the name may sound, it is actually just a fancy way to say image marker based detection. This is not anything new in the AR industry. In fact, Beforia and Wikitude have been doing this for ages. I even have courses on augmented reality using Beforia and another one that mixes AR with Internet of Things. Check out discount coupons on these courses in the links below. To compare between ARCore and Vuforia, which I have used extensively, I can say in terms of detection, ARCore seems a bit slow. So if I move the image, it may take a while for the virtual game object to readjust. However, where ARCore excels is in its motion tracking of the target. So keeping the target stationary on the wall for example, I can move around as much as I want, spin around and go crazy but the game object will still be anchored to the same place, which is really cool. Now with Vuforia, it will lose the virtual object unless you activate its smart terrain, ground plane, or extended tracking options. So essentially, Vuforia constantly looks for the image marker, also known as tracking by detection, whereas AirCore detects the object once, creates an anchor in 3D space, and uses motion tracking to fix and maintain game objects in its designated place. If you want to learn how to develop advanced AR core apps, then check out the links below to either access these advanced tutorials on Patreon or get full access to the AR core masterclass on Teachable and Udemy. Please also subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon to get notified of more free augmented reality tutorials. And lastly, check out all these other cool Udemy AR courses. Discount coupons are all in the links below. So what will we need? To make things easier for us, I've included a Unity package of the project on my GitHub page, github.com, range 9 AR Core. You can go to L underscore augmented images and clone and download this to your desktop. We'll also need AR Core 1.2 Unity package. And also have any video handy as we'll use it for our demo. Okay, so getting started. So setting up augmented images is very easy. So let's get into it. First off, let's start off by creating a new project. Let's call it Augmented Images. Create project. Let's go ahead and import ARCore 1.2 or even 1.2.1 .1, as they're both identical. Click Import. Okay, go to Google ARCore. Examples. Augmented Images. Scenes. And double click on our scene. And this will launch our example scene. Now let's get familiar with our hierarchy. We have the usual directional light, air code device with first person camera, our example controller, along with our canvas and event system. So looking particularly at our example controller, game object, which we have a script called augmented image example and has two fields. One is our visualizer prefab and the other is the fit to scan overlay UI which is just a directive for us to place our camera within the bounds of the image that we want to detect. Zoning in on our augmented image visualizer, we can see that it contains a script which takes in four prefabs. So these prefabs are just framed corners and when an image is detected, it will place its corners on top of your image. You can build and run this app to see what it looks like. But let's tweak this app so that it can display video instead of framed corners. Now make sure you import the other Unity assets from the GitHub repository. Video augmented image .unity package. Click import. As well as the video file that you want to display in the image. I'm going to import the promo lecture to this course and drag it into Unity. Under 3D assets. So what you've just imported is a simple plain prefab that has a video player component. Over here. And it also has been resized to fit the image. Now where it says missing video clip, I want you to click the circle over here and then select the video that you've just imported. Now under example controller, let's replace this with our new prefab. So go to 3D assets and then dragging this one over here. Right over there. Okay, so now we should be ready to build our app. Now before we do, make sure you've printed out one of the target images. You'll find them here under Assets, Google AR Core, Augmented Images, Images, 
and you'll find them right over here. You can print out just one of these. You can also import your own images within the database. Now when you import your image, this quality score over here will change. According to the AR Core Dev site, if your score is below 75%, the app may struggle to detect your image. So make sure the image contains a handful of features, which basically means images with distinct textures rather than an image that are plain and uniform. Okay, let's save our scene. Building the app. Click File, Build Settings, click Add Open Scenes, delete this one here, change it to Android, Build System to Internal, Play Settings, Disable multi trended rendering. Let's change this to AR Core. Augmented images. Change the minimum API level to 7 nougat. And then lastly, activate AR Core supported. I'm sure by now you can do this very easily. With that all done and your phone connected, you can go ahead and click Build and Run. Save it as Augmented Images .apk and click Save. So what you should see is when you detect your image, your video prefab will automatically play and you'll see video playing on your wall. Quite simple, right? Understanding the code. Okay, let's go to our controller. Go to Augmented Image Visualizer. Click Edit Script. And it should open in Mono Develop or Visual Studio. So this script is just a toned down version of the original Augmented Image Visualizer script. So instead of four game objects being used, I just used one. And that will display the video prefab. And when the image has been detected, or rather tracked, it'll set this prefab to active at these coordinates with respect to the image. If this is not the case, then you'll set the prefab to false and our video prefab is gone. Okay guys, that is it from me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing what you will do with augmented images. If you want to learn how to develop advanced AR Core apps, then check out the links below to access either these advanced tutorials on Patreon. My Patreon patrons get access to tutorials not posted on YouTube as well as access to videos before everyone else. So if you like to get the edge before everyone else, then check out my Patreon page in the link below. Or you can get full access to my AR Core Masterclass on Teachable and Udemy. Please also like, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon to get notified of more free augmented reality tutorials. And lastly, check out all these other cool Udemy AR courses. Discount coupons are all in the links below. We are also now on Discord if you'd like to chat to us about anything AR or AI. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.